So most things you can do with video in VLC, you can also do with audio. This is extended by VLC's podcast feature, where you're able to subscribe and stream your favorite podcasts. How we do this is by selecting podcasts in the left-hand tab of the VLC window. And in order to get our podcasts into here, we need to hit subscribe. Here, we are asked for the URL of the podcast channel we wish to subscribe to. How we get this URL is by going to our web browser and searching for the podcast we want to subscribe to. What I found works best for me in getting the correct link for VLC is to type the thing I'm looking for, so ESPN, Aero Hawani podcast, and then adding RSS at the end, as it's the RSS URL VLC wants. Now hit enter. This first result looks correct, so I'm going to go ahead and click the link. And it brings me to this page, and if you look here at this orange logo, this is the link to the RSS feed. Now, there are two ways to retrieve the URL address from this link. I can right click and choose copy link, or I can click the link and be brought to this crazy page of code. All we need to do is copy the URL here by selecting all of it, holding down command and hitting the letter C, returning to VLC and pasting the URL into the box by holding down command and hitting the letter V. Then hit subscribe. And there's my channel. If we click this down arrow, we can see all the episodes for this podcast. Just like a video, you can double click to play an episode and stop when you are finished. If you decide you don't want to be subscribed to this podcast anymore, you can simply hit unsubscribe here, where you will be asked to confirm that this is the correct podcast you wish to unsubscribe from. It is, so I'll hit unsubscribe one last time. And just like that, it has been completely removed. So that was how to use the podcast feature in VLC and the end of this series. I'd like to thank you for watching these videos and also for the constructive feedback. I highly recommend you check out my QuickTime tutorials where I will show you how to get the most out of another free video program.